There are many different kinds of elastic bandages available on the market, and these are a few that you may come across in your practice. Elastic bandages, also known as high stretch bandages, are highly elasticized and provide constant pressure. Ensure that the individual is well positioned, comfortable, and at an adequate height for compression therapy to be applied safely. Ensure that the underpadding is in place prior to applying the bandage. Watch the instructional video on how to do this. Always read the manufacturer's instructions for direction on the application technique for specific bandages and apply the bandages in line with any organisational policies. Ensure the foot is kept at a 90 degree angle or in dorsiflexion throughout the procedure. Hold the bandage close to the limb with the barrel upright while bandaging. This will assist with ease of application and keeping the bandage tension consistent along the length of the limb. Begin the bandaging at the base of the toes. This will prevent a buildup of interstitial fluid or edema occurring in the toes and forefoot. Perform an ankle or foot lock fully enclosing the foot with enough tension to prevent displacement. Apply one to two anchor turns from the base of the toes. Cover the heel, followed by a turn under the heel, and finally around the Achilles tendon. Ensure that the recommended bandage tension is commenced at the ankle and not the foot, unless stipulated by the manufacturer. Continue bandaging with spiral turns up the limb. Apply the bandage with 50% stretch and 50% overlap of each layer. Finish bandaging 2 cm below the crease of the knee and cut off any excess bandage before fastening with tape. Or secure the remaining length of bandage without tension. Ensure that the individual has ankle and foot movement and their toes are well perfused after bandaging. Observe for any gaps in the bandage, which may indicate poor alignment.